Bringing more women into the formal workplace is an important component of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. But how do women in strained economic situations balance paid jobs with the vital unpaid work they already have? By studying women working outside the home in northwestern India, researchers discovered that for economically disadvantaged women, having formal work was far from being an individual decision about time allocation. Their ability to work formal jobs was a family project to reallocate labor. In rural India, work for households such as childcare, housework and farming are as vital to family survival as work for wages. So the decision for women to seek formal employment has to be taken collectively by all members of the household. Adults negotiate a new division of labor that shifts some of the woman's work for households onto other members of the family. Some women worked outside the home to support large families or to supplement men's unsteady incomes. Others kept jobs to maintain an important contact or social network. But no matter the reason, by studying these women, scholars found that the focus on the individual in discussions of work-life balance may inadequately represent a phenomenon that involves other household members implicitly or explicitly. Wonder how women rebalance their lives in order to enter the workforce? If so, you may want to read this paper.